Welcome to Inside Japan, Derek here, and today's topic is one that is near and dear to my heart. If you haven't guessed, I'm a lifelong lover of movies and animation, and with this week's release of the much-anticipated Avengers Endgame, I wanted to take a look at going to the movie theater in Japan, as there are a few things that set it apart from my movie-going experiences in the U.S. Famous movie theater chains here include Toho, Eon, and 109 Cinemas. A full price ticket is almost double the price I was used to paying in the US. Luckily, there are many opportunities to save a bit, including student and senior discounts, as well as themed discount days, such as Couples Day, which come on set days of the week or month. The concession stand offers a wide variety of snacks, including beer, which is nice. You usually buy tickets for specific seats at the time of purchase, and recently, ticket purchasing usually involves ticketing kiosks or online purchases. Some movies are shown either with subtitles and the original audio, or with audio dubbed into Japanese. Sometimes there are also 3D and 4DX versions, so make sure to choose the exact show you're aiming for. As a movie fan in Japan, there are a few things that can be a bit of a headache. Some major films are released about the same time as they are in the US, but some movies arrive much later. That could be a couple months to a year, as they're scheduled with the release of domestic Japanese films being prioritized. Last year I was really looking forward to Spider-Man Into the Multiverse, which came out in early December, but it ended up coming to Japan in mid-February of 2019, which was one week after the American home video release. On top of that, it was only shown with Japanese audio in all but a few theaters in Tokyo, since animated features are seen as being aimed at kids who may not be able to read subtitles. That's all for today, and thanks for joining us, and we hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This has been Inside Japan.